Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Webform. Today I'm going to show you uh, the next video tutorial of a shopping cart project and in this project I'm going to add a new web form uh, and uh, we, uh, which is inherited from master page and uh, that page name is add a new company. So uh, that page is related to the company and add, add new company you can say. So uh so that page is inherited from master admin master page and first of all add a new html table inside the uh, content plus holder and after that you have to uh, add some data like uh, company name and company description and related to the labels and related to the text box and the button control respectively you have to add a uh, new validation control so you can see that uh, the tables that is shopping cart and in which the company uh, table you have a company name and the description so first of all check the table definitions where id is automatically incremented by one so first of all check uh, by open the table definitions oops the id is not incremented by one so just uh, go to the properties and uh, where uh, you can see in the identity specifications that is the false so just set to true after uh, setting the uh, identity in uh, that means your id column is automatically incremented by one that is the property uh, for the identity okay now after that you have to update your database table and uh, uh, and uh, after that you you can type in your html table that is the company name and the company description so it's a simple thing you can uh, do in your asp.net uh, web form using visual studio so uh, actually uh, microsoft does not provide any uh, support related to the web forms because uh, microsoft only work on asp.net core latest versions so uh, there is no support for the web forms users so just uh, uh, you can say that uh, it's a temporary clause by microsoft so uh, after that you have to add a text box control just after the company name so you can say uh, the company name uh, filled by the text box and after that you have to set the description and uh, for the description you can take a multi-line text box so first of all add a text box also and after that you have to set the text mode property that is uh, multi-line now just go to the section of source where you can see clearly so company name and the text box is text box one so first of all change the id property of the uh, text box that is company name company name text and the second one is uh, text box 2 that is related to the uh, company description so description text that is the okay so also add a text mode property that is multi-line okay so multi-line text box so after that you have to add a new button control so button control when you click on the button control uh, that mean your company information will be saved into your database table so uh, on the button click event uh, on the button click event you have to set uh, sql connections and commands and related data so first of all you can see that add product in add product we have already a sql connection things so just copy that and paste inside your button click in your add company because the all things are similar there is no need to uh, writing it and just uh, solve your namespace if you want to solve your namespace you can use control and a dot key and you can say dot uh, means the period key and solve the namespace problems so use control and dot key okay so just write uh, command text that is cmd dot command text 
cmd dot command text is related to your uh, command text that is insert. I want to uh, add information uh, into the company table, so cmd dot command text is insert into table name. Insert into table name. That is table name is company and uh, after that you have to add uh, company columns that is the company name and the description and values and uh, after that you have to add uh, initialize uh, the connection to the uh, command after that you have to execute an inquiry method if a result is greater than zero that means one record added into your database table so just check the uh, table name that is company and the column names inside it here inside the brackets that that is company name and company description so company name and uh, company description okay so inside in values you can add a parameters so use verbatim literal add the red symbol c name and c description okay that's fine it's cool and uh, after that you have to add parameters related to your company cmd dot parameters dot add with values that is add the red symbol and uh, that is c name and comma and c name is the parameter name and i want to pass uh, the company name uh, from the text box table uh, text box so company text company name text dot text will assign into the parameter that is c name uh, similarly you can uh, pass a company description uh, text box value to the parameter c description so just replace c name with the c description okay and company name text replace with the description text dot text so just add description text dot text okay so that's fine and uh, pretty cool so uh, you can see that a parameter is uh, created and when we click on the button control a, a message will be displayed on the uh, label control so add a label control and uh, the id property of the label will be changed uh, from the label one to uh, a result label you can say and the text property uh, will be uh, empty string and uh, in the result is greater than zero it means a result label dot text is that is a record added you can say okay that's cool so the one uh, you can say that by using that code you have to add a new created uh, newly added company into the list so after that you have to run your project the company name is f99 okay and uh, the company related to the cloths so you can add company related to cloths save record records added successfully will be displayed on the label control so after that you have to run uh, product because the company is already added into the uh, database table so company will be show in the uh, drop down list so f99 uh, 28 side chains and f99 uh, is uh, under the drop down list so best quality product and you have to select the genes and uh, add a new record oops getting an error because converting the enver care value f99 to data type integer okay so actually uh, drop down list is show the uh, text value and uh, here i am save company dot selected item dot text that is the f99 but in the database table you can see that is the id property of the drop down list i want to save so you can see that is the company id is the type of integer but 
uh, here I'm using a text property of the company that is F99. Just I want to save the 0, 1 and related to the company's ID property. Okay, just close it and uh, just open that uh, .cs file and you can see that company.selectedItem.text changed with the value dot value okay so in the value field in the drop down list of the value will hold the id property of the uh, company so again you have to next and uh, f99 size jeans 300 rupees product description that is best quality product choose file add it oops another getting an error because cannot insert the value null into the column id okay so id is the primary key of the uh, product table so just set auto increment uh, that is the identity so default is not set so must to set as a identity property so in the id property set identity column that is true and update your database table and finally you have to run again your project add product.cs file view in browser and you can see the output and finally you can see that best quality product okay so uh, it's a quite simple thing you can do in asp.net web form so that's fine and add a new product yeah product added thank you very much